Hey, all right, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, um, we got uh, we got our Ubuntu installed, and what I wanted to do was go ahead and uh, we're going to walk through just walk through the operating system. We're just going to talk about some of the some of the applications that we have, um, where we can go find certain things. Wow, that was fast. All right, so uh, let's, let me go ahead and log in my fancy secure password there all right so let's talk about the new operating system so this is version 16.04 and uh, I guess this is a uh, maybe IT Ubuntu fun fact for me I have been this will let you know uh, how long I've been using this I, I've been running Ubuntu since uh, version version 4 actually yeah version 4 it's been, been, been a while um, I made I made the huge jump uh, years years ago and I've been I, I've liked it ever since so plain Jane desktop here we're just kinda gonna navigate around take a look at some of the apps you can see this is a basic install if you look see over here on the left hand side this is your uh, your pane here. This is where all of your kind of your quick applications reside. And by default, you can see as I move down, it'll pop up and it highlights kind of a little uh, tool box or tool window, tool tip uh, window uh, pops up and shows you what at what the name of the application actually is. So as as we start from top to bottom, you can see this is your uh, if you click on that, that this this will open up your uh, your uh, heads up display here. Um, this will this is a nice cool feature. This will walk you. This can actually search the entire computer. I don't care if you're looking for documents, a folder, uh, and and how it actually ties in. If you're online, it'll actually do online searches as well. So uh, this is an awesome, pretty cool feature. So like, let let me show you. Uh, let's type in uh, uh, what, do we, what do we got? Firefox. Let's the Firefox. Let's so F. See as you, as you start typing, see as it populates. It, I mean, this is really cool. I mean, it it takes all of the finding and you searching and trying to find what you're looking for. It brings that to you. That's pretty pretty cool. You know, then you can open up whatever window you want to get to, and then down here, this is the main. This is the main file folder. I just had that open, so this just this this just actually opens up your home folder location. Uh, you can see it's just a uh, kind of a pane tree structure on the left. Then you've got your home folder, and this is the default setup for all users. You have a documents, you have a downloads, music, pictures, public templates videos and examples and this is just uh, kind of some sample video stuff that they can play you can kind of check out and then third below here you got your def default browser that they have installed is Firefox which is a very nice browser they've come a long way I mean I I use uh, I use Firefox and I use also Google Chrome uh, on the Ubuntu at, at the uh, open source version of uh, Chrome is called Chromium so that's what you'll find on uh, your new Ubuntu system here and you got LibreOffice Libre if I'm pronouncing that right uh, this is a uh, Microsoft Office compatible suite here this is I, I really like this this is uh, I mean if if you're looking for a uh, an office suite and you need you're wanting to be able to type documents do it do spreadsheets create powerpoints now they're not showing the full suite of stuff here but you got word you can do word type type word documents uh, create spreadsheets powerpoints uh, you there's a a, a, a a drawing application on here as well uh, there's also um, uh, there's a uh, what I can't even think of the name of it now I'm having a blank but it, it's a, a database type of application where you can create databases 
So this is a nice, nice alternative Microsoft Office suite. Um, and this is actually all these applications now. These are all open source. Uh, the, 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 these are, the source code is provided free. You can download these um, um, freely online if you know. Uh, so uh, moving on here, we have uh, the Ubuntu. This is the software center. Uh, this this probably has made uh, many of the many of the, the the Linux flavors pretty pretty much stand out amongst uh, even amongst Macs and Windows. Uh, what they've done is they they've created this software kind of repository location that's you know if you're looking for a specific software that's and all of this is really it's tailored for Ubuntu this is most of its tailored around Ubuntu uh, so you can you can pretty much find a very huge plethora of very different software from uh, uh, from video to music to audio browsers I mean almost whatever you're looking for this is just an awesome awesome place here let's load this up and launch it here I want you to see this so you know you can uh, you can see they have see look here they have editors picked I mean these are some of the top base applications recommended applications a lot of these are a lot of these are just nice premium premium quality applications I mean you can't you, you can't really find a lot better than this um, uh, here I, I mean a lot of these I have a lot of these applications loaded up but see here you can go down and it breaks it down into categories based on what you're looking for so, you know games videos office I mean all, all different kinds of applications and software here let's click on the internet go on the internet here boom chromium web browser I just mentioned that earlier uh, got Firefox that's installed and the neat thing it shows you that this software is already installed um, you know you got remote desktop viewers and it also has some subcategories here you can actually click into as well email you know uh, instant messaging various different different instant messaging clients if you're into that thing uh, very nice I, I really like how they've done this up here uh, so let's close this out and this is Amazon I this is a like Amazon cloud service I, I don't really I, I, I don't use it that much uh, really not at all um, I mean if you're into uh, you use the, the Amazon uh, services and cloud services uh, you can utilize this application here I'm not really not going to click on it because it's going to try to prompt me to uh, right here I inadvertently did I guess I could show you here and this uh, this actually opens up kind of a standalone web browser like I said it takes you to uh, Amazon I mean it's uh, I don't know why they've put this in here maybe something with their with their cloud services I guess and then uh, last and well not the last but then you have at the very bottom or close to the bottom here is the system settings probably one of the most uh, most important uh, sections in here uh, so I'll, I'll kind of talk about this real briefly here you know you can go in here this is where you'll find mate basically how to go in here and adjust the system make tweaks make a, make adjustments to how your system functions you know you can go in here here's appearance here's where you go in here and we can actually tweak our desktop you know our desktop wallpaper here um, it's all it's on the standard now here let me switch it to let's up this this clock here as I, as you can see now our, our backgrounds changed you know and uh, if you want to add more you can go down here and add additional wallpaper uh, if you got certain images or something uh, in a certain folder here your pictures folder all of that will show up here uh, you can go here and actually Here's where you adjust the launcher icon size. That's what this is. This is your launcher. You can adjust the size of it based on your window or your your desktop. See, as I I can shrink it down here, and that'll what the, it shrinks it down. But that actually at the same time allows you to add additional icons to your launcher. So if you needed to add additional things, you can shrink it down a little bit. 
you know it condenses it you can add additional stuff to that I'm gonna take it back up to where kind of close to where it was at here we go all right then we got see this tab up here we got behavior right here you can actually auto hide this launcher so if you want to have the ability to if you're you know if you're not clicking anywhere near it it'll actually auto hide it let me see if I can make it do that here turn it on and see bam it went away and now if I move my mouse over close by here it should if I do this right I don't know this is a virtual machine so I'm not sure if this will this probably won't let me grab it the way I got this machine set up so let me turn it off okay there we go comes back so you can reveal location here see look top right now it's on the left side top left corner uh, you can I mean you can do various different things here reveal sensitivity enable workspaces this is an awesome I mean not many uh, they've been doing this for a while now you know you can enable this see here this just popped up uh, uh, this actually creates like virtual workspaces I mean it's it's like having a separate desktop environment that you can work off of and open up applications open up windows <clears throat> so if I hit this here it should show me four as you can see here I can I got one let me go back here one two three and four so you see how they lit up that kind of indicates which one that you're on and uh, you can just you select you can open up windows on it you can drag them between here like oh, I want to move this window here uh, if you had other stuff open you can drag them between switch around and put it back here where I had it click on the window you want and it expands and opens it up so in the rest of these there's a there's a, there's a show desktop icon if you want to easily like click to show the just show the de reveal the desktop that's a button for that throws it on the launcher and the rest of these are kind of a uh, what is this display a mouse hovering okay and then in the menu bar shows menus in the window so that'll show them instead of up here at the top it'll actually show the menu this here at the top it'll show it actually in the window itself uh, let's go back take a look let's go back and all settings so you got brightness and lock here's where you can lock lock the screen you can adjust the uh, how much time before the screen locks uh, you know uh, I typically me myself I I lengthen my time out I mean I'm, I'm on mine quite a bit so I'll leave mine on an hour here screen lock is turned on uh, screen turns off when the screen is locked it'll turn off requires my password to wake up that you, you have to put the password in to unlock the screen language and support I'm not going to go into that online accounts this is pretty nice so if you got uh, you uh, I use Google and I use Facebook so here you can actually uh, log in to your uh, Google and or Facebook account and this will like link your uh, your profile link it to your account so you can actually get your updates and it'll kind of uh, uh, it's almost 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 acts like a single sign-on just kind of retrieves your information for you let's go back here you got security and privacy uh, you know this is uh, pretty pretty nice here you can uh, look here you can record what does this say Files and applications you've recently re you've used recently can be shown in the dash and elsewhere. If other people can see or access your account, you may wish to limit which items are recorded. So right now I have everything, so it's it can I can type in and it'll it'll show it'll show all everything in here. It'll I can search for these items, uh, that, which is real nice. I like that. Um, what is this when searching in a dash include online oh this is what I was talking about before Here, if you turn this on this will actually do and you're connected to the internet this will actually do online searches as well pretty slick pretty slick pretty slick you know you just hit the switch BAM 
So when I come up here and I do my HUD searches here, look, search your computer and online sources. That is, that, that, Windows 10 just got on that. They've been doing this for years. They, they've had this, they've had, when they came out with this, uh, um, uh, when they came out with the Unity, this, uh, the Unity uh, environment, uh, I mean, this is amazing. I mean, you can, here we go, diagnostics, so I'm not going to dive too much into that, but this is just kind of information it sends to the company that, you know, so they can help make the system better. All right, let's go back. You got Bluetooth. Obviously, if you have Bluetooth devices, you can connect them up. It's color. This is just uh, this. Uh, each device. This kind of tells you about color profile management. If you need to create a color profile for the computer, rarely would you have to mess with that as a kind of a basic user. Here's the display. This is pretty important. So if you needed to adjust anything, uh, you can go here. Look here. You can just go crazy I mean you can adjust it to, to fit your needs or whatever um, you got here you can rotate the screen this got the launcher placement so if you actually want to uh, place you know if you have multiple monitors you can place this launcher here either on all of them or on a specific monitor which is nice sticky edges this is nice so this actually allows so if you move you got multiple monitors you're moving the screens right to left or the windows I should say uh, the sticky edges will allow kinda one wind the window will kinda kinda hit the edge of that first screen and it'll kinda stick for a few seconds before you're able to drag it over that way you kinda you don't kinda get lost it, it's it's a nice feature I, I, t I like the seamless back and forth so if you turn that off you have that seamless kind of back and forth motion. Uh, we're gonna you obviously you can detect displays if you have those. Keyboard, you go in here, you can adjust the keyboard settings, mouse and touch, touch uh, pad. Uh, this way you can adjust the double click speed and pointer speed. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Network uh, here, this is this actually tells you. the address of your network and you see this is my address because this is all I'm, on, I'm running this in a virtual machine so it, this will have your address uh, just tells you basically address information so if you got different things connected you can go in here and you know make adjustments you can name it whatever like that if you wanted to give it a specific name and call it uh, you know uh, wire connection or, or hard DHCP or whatever you want to call it you can go in here and make network adjustments if you're pretty familiar with that otherwise just you know I wouldn't bother with any of those settings there so we, if we keep moving power options here this actually tells you how much battery power you're running uh, that's if you're on a laptop uh, it'll tell you how much battery power is uh, remaining and how much you need to have charged you can go in here and make adjustments to uh, uh, suspend mode and when the battery's low things like that you can tell it not to suspend uh, similar like windows uh, so that's where you go in there and you make power adjustments uh, you can go in here you get printers uh, if you got a printer you want to add a printer to the system uh, you go in here you say add and it walks you now if your printer is connected uh, if it's connected and plugged in uh, what's slick about this um, it will actually detect and populate that in here and make it available um, and then there's all kind of other different uh, kind of printing protocols if you're familiar with those you can go in here if you have a network printer you can find it if you have a printer shared out on your network you can go in here simply type in that IP address of it find it it'll detect it and then you know, it'll make it available for you to install and there's a lot of various other printing type protocols for you to connect printers and devices or at least printer printers to uh, printers to your computer on your network okay I'm gonna cancel out this 
cancel bag this is pretty slick so if, let me show you a few things here so uh, you can go in here and say so it's your printer you can server you can actually see a new printer yeah up here here's where you can say option to share enable the printer you know and, and, and go in here and make a few little preference changes um, okay go in here this is your sound as you can see here you got it has a few tabs here outbound inbound sound effects and applications so you're out you're out I mean output and input I should say so your output um, that's going to either be if you have uh, local speakers on the machine itself or if you have some uh, headphones connected or some type of external sound output mechanism you'll see that here and you can go in here and, and test it out and you know make adjustments to the sound mode and right and left balance you know here we go inputs uh, this will pick up if you have uh, microphones so whether it's a built-in mic or whether it's a as you can see here it's moving a little bit for me uh, but whether you have a built-in microphone or an external microphone it'll show those and you can actually select the one you want to use to input sound input the sound then there's sound effects here these are just default stuff I mean it's the basic sounds the operating system makes and then uh, we got uh, applications this will actually show uh, if there's applications that are running that are you utilizing the audio so you can go in here you can see oh hey okay I'm there's a VLC players playing or the movie make players playing and it'll show that it's being used by by the sound here you can go up here adjust the sound there's a mute option box here's an option this will allow you to now it says it may distort the sound but this will allow you to take the audio just a, a pass a 100 percent so bam hundred louder and that's if you need just a little bit of audio boost you know it's not bad that's uh, pretty slick let's go back here uh, Wacom tablet uh, this is if you have I don't have anything detected but this is one of those tablets that uh, you use to uh, you can actually do drawing and graphics on this will pick that up and you can actually be able to plug it if it was connected it would pick it up I'm not going to really too much talk in depth on that I don't really use that backups I like this this is uh, their backup system built in you go through here you can set up uh, this is the overview so what you want to do is uh, no recent backups, no backup schedule. So this is a for fresh install, so it's not going to have anything. You could go here by default; it saves your home folder. So that's just by default. Uh, you can go in here, and it's, it saves the whole, and it it ignore the folders that it does ignore. It, it ignores the trash, and it, it ignores the downloads folder because you don't want you don't want that it's just useless garbage most people just download stuff and they either delete it or they move it somewhere else and we have a storage look we have our storage location uh, this will be as you can see you got a few options here you can choose SSH web dev Windows share or you can custom location and then they have those low on your local machine uh, I, I recommend you set this up you know point and get it somewhere if you got an external if you have somewhere on your network or if you have plenty uh, I mean if for the time being you could do it local you know just so you have some type of backup going but I would put it somewhere so you always have a backup uh, here you can go in and uh, turn auto on you know you can adjust say day from every day or every week and how long you want to keep your backups from six months to a year or just hey I want all my backups and that, then this will allow you, it'll date everything and you'll have a list of backups and you can go through by date and say hey I want to restore from this particular backup at this date and time um, pretty nice pretty nice so that's pretty much uh, see we're down here system settings uh, okay so we get on details details uh, this tells you about about your system. You know, tell gives you tells you the the, the type of uh, operating system you're running, 
the name of this device is essentially your computer name uh, tells you how much memory you have uh, what kind of processor you're running and uh, how, you know how many uh, what the gigahertz uh, is uh, clock speed uh, type of graphics card that you have installed uh, and uh, architecture of your operating system most of them today that you're going to be running a 64-bit OS and it shows you your disk space or how much hard drive uh, what your disk size is I should say and you go down here these are a lot of default things here you got default applications here you can go in and actually set uh, the, depending on if the application is used for this used for web mail calendar music video or photos you can actually go in here and, and adjust this see they have browser on here if I wanted to set that as a default browser I could set that there mail Thunderbird is the only thing installed leave it there calendar uh, see I could adjust for if I wanted my music to play from the videos player I could select that and then every time I'd open up music it would play from there videos video for that so and then photos see oh, look at this see all of these are capable of uh, viewing photos so you could select any one of these to uh, defaultly open up any pictures or photo files this is nice this is uh, the equivalent of the Windows default application page okay so now here we go this is removable media so this will this pretty much this really affects like really uh, like DVD type media and you know it'll it'll ask you what you want to do I typically leave this default so it'll just pop me and prompt me and uh, ask me what it wants me to do you know if there's a few things that you know you want to change a standard you can go here and say hey no I just when I put this CD in I want rhythm box to play every time or you can open a folder you know when when that happens uh, or you here you can never prompt to start anything and then here's just a legal notice uh, on the search in the dash type stuff. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Let's go back to all settings. You got software updates. So if you're trying to, you know, you want to look into updating the software, you want to, you can change locations where it comes from. If you're in a different country, you can use a main server. Or if you have another server, or you know any spe anything specific like that. Uh, typically, I you I leave everything all of this as a default. Other than this, this this is nice. This okay. Let me talk about this here. This is the updates tab. This here, uh, I typically leave this stuff here checked. Security updates, recommended, and unsupported updates because you do sometimes come across some unsupported stuff. Uh, if you want to do daily updates. It's hey, it's gonna go out there, check it online every day, every day at a certain time, download, install automatically, boom. Me personally, I don't want I, I don't want my machine to be running like just my resources running like that daily. So I typically do weekly. Go in here once in this is nice to know. So uh, if you make a change on your system that is a essentially a system wide change you will be prompted to put in your password because you are guess what the administrator okay you administer your own system okay alright so I like weekly I typically do that I download and install automatically so this is for my security updates so I don't have to really worry about that I, I'd rather if I need to do any updating of my uh, software I want to work on just the application side. Security updates, let's do that automatically. Uh, when there are other updates, display weekly. Uh, I leave that the same because I try to do it uh, do it around the same time. Um, I leave this on the long term support. You don't want to start messing really with this too tough unless you know what you're doing. Uh, you can do any version. That means any version of Ubuntu that comes out, it'll check. Uh, it'll check, check, check. You can actually use this to do a uh, distribution update, and you know it'll update you to from 16.04 to 16.10, and so forth and so on. 
I typically leave this as is. I just kind of leave it as the default and let those be. We'll close that out. Time and date. Obviously, it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we saw this uh, on the last video where we were uh, doing the installation from scratch. So you go in. This is if you need to man. If you need to go in here and manually change your your time zone, this is where you do it. Uh, you got automatically uh, automatic from the internet, uh, which it, that's what I have it set on. So it's actually getting its time and date from the internet. Here you can go and clock. This is nice. I like this. So you can actually show many different features of the clock. Right now we we have the hour and the minute and uh, our PM. So we got 7:29 PM here. If you want to know, if you want to have weekdays showing, click that. Bam! It'll show you the weekday of the month, or you can hit that. It'll show you actually the the weekday, the month. And the number month. See, we got we have Monday, March twentieth. Nice. If you go here, they actually have a year option. You want to have the, you just want the whole date to be up there with the time. There you go. Bam, lickety bam, boom. Look at this. Look at it. What, what, what we got? Look at it. We got twelve hour clock time, twenty four hour. You know, you want those military folks. You or you know, you like just to count one to twenty four. You hey. Uh, you, you know, you like that Cuba Sutherland style, you can go that route. You know, if you like the, you know, they even have seconds on here. If you just want the clock to tick by the seconds. I mean, this is this is amazing how you can just make these adjustments to the clock. Go in here, include week numbers on the calendar. So you can actually, if you go up here and you click on the clock, it'll show you a calendar. Quick, easy calendar. Go in here, it shows you the date, time, what your time zone, the year really nice um, time and auto detection location uh, that will actually adjust the time based on what based on your location and here you can actually choose some time in other locations it's pretty slick what you can do here on the clock and stuff and here we got universal access so if we have people with uh, certain disabilities or you want to make enhancements to the system the contrast the text you know screen the pointer the clicker uh, how quick things work and things like that if you're you know uh, you know here we got we have visual visual alerts um, so you know this is similar like Windows so we, they put things tailored in here to help anybody you know anybody can use this kind of system and here uh, here's the last one I went because this is actually where you go in and you act, you can actually create uh, new user accounts here you know you see test me I'm the administrator I can go and add me a picture here if I want here let me choose here I'm the admin who's the admin I'm the admin because I'm the master I'm the chess master there we go go in here you can change your language if you like most of it's all English different types you can go in here you can actually change your password if you needed to automatic login you can see your login history. You know, that way if you think somebody's kind of show my login name in the menu bar. Let me hit that. Bam. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Test me. I can click test me. Bam, log out. Go in there. Yeah, look at that. You see, you can add a user. See, look at the highlight on that. Look at that. See, create a user account, click the lock first. So that means I need to unlock this. Remember I told you guys? Who are you? That's right. You are the administrator. You cannot make system changes that in that can affect the entire system without putting your password in. All right. So that's been a uh, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, we went through walk through kind of the uh, uh, talked about the basic desktop kind of interface uh, this bar over here on the left hand side this is called your launcher um, we, we, we walked through some of these applications here just kind of briefly t talked about what they are and uh, talked about some important things like the system settings your backups uh, maybe two of the most important 
uh, talking about the search feature here uh, awesome um, how you can go in and adjust date and time uh, system settings where you can go in and um, make adjustments to your display uh, a lot of things um, a lot of things so we, next video we're, we're going to start kind of we'll go in and we will talk more uh, uh, in detail on a few applications and uh, how to do and set up a few things on your new Ubuntu system um, I hope you like the video and uh, you got some uh, good information out of it if you like it please comment uh, share this video like it and uh, I'll see you on the next go round alright peace